Let's get back to your money. Come in, Brian Westbury, First Trust Advisors Chief Economist. Uh, Brian, great to have you. Uh, hey, good morning. Good morning. Simply put, you're bullish on the economy, right? Why? Uh, uh, well, I am. Uh, you know, the, the data got weaker uh, late in the year, possibly because... They had a hard time putting it together with the government shutdown. A lot of the statistical agencies weren't staffed. Uh, so maybe there were some problems with the data. But, you know, people were expecting almost 0% GDP in the first quarter. And yeah. all of a sudden, boom, the data has turned. And now we're up to one5 to 2%. Uh, tax cuts, deregulation, uh, they are helping the economy. They will continue to help the economy. And I don't think the Fed is anywhere near tight. And as a result, <laughs> I think this, uh, this year is going to be 3% real growth. Well, that's like my next year. question, Brian. You, you know, uh, where do we go from here for the year? You think 3% is possible? I, I, I definitely do. You know, the first quarter is going to start out weak. Yeah. And if you look back over the last five, six years, the first quarter has been weak. We don't really know why. It's whether it's seasonal adjustments or some kind of problem with the data. But then the second and third quarter pick up uh, and that boosts the yearly average. And so I do look, by the time we get to the fourth quarter, uh, we're going to have about 3% growth for the full year, which is just about what we had uh, for 2018. So yeah. a lot of people got down on the economy. They lowered earnings estimates. They were thinking the Fed was going to cut rates. I think all of that changes in the next six months. Very good. You mentioned the Fed. Uh, President Trump has nominated yeah. Steve Moore, Herman Cain, to the Federal Reserve Board. Uh, do you think he's politicizing the Federal Reserve? There are only two out of 12 votes. So how much can they really shape policy? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Other than the chairman of the Fed, uh, the mm. members of the Fed don't have a lot of power unless they have a full majority. So if there are two members that are politically motivated, uh, I agree with you. That, that's not going to be able to shift the direction of the Fed in any dramatic uh, fashion. Uh, you know, presidents over, the, over time have tried to affect the Fed. They try to affect every agency uh, of the government. Um, and, you know, Steve Moore came out, wrote a piece in the Wall Street Journal, said he wanted to cut interest rates. Uh, that appeals to the president who doesn't want uh, higher interest rates to hurt the economy going into an election. Uh, I would argue to all of them that the Fed is not tight. 2.4% um, mm. interest rates in an economy that's growing. Now, remember, we have to compare it to nominal growth because that's real. So let's say we have 3% real growth mm -hmm. plus 2% inflation. That's 5% growth in the economy. Interest rates need to be a lot higher before the right. Fed is tight. Plus, there's still $1.5 trillion of excess bank reserves in the system. There is no liquidity problem. So Very good. I, this, idea of, this idea of cutting interest rates right now, I don't agree with it. Right. Uh, and, They're just about where they should be. it would actually backfire. Exactly. Yeah. Brian, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, I like your welcome. bullish outlook. Very good. Thank you for joining <laughs> All us. All right.